Hi, Sokanite. Today I'm going to show you one of my most important favorite things to make. It is rose hip oil. So I gathered these around October, November. Try from October, November. Um, if you're living in the um, in the east, northeast of the country, be in America, um, they come out around October. They're wild. They're tiny. Like you could buy them, I think, online for more money. But they grow wild in my neighborhood, in the suburbs. So see if you could gather. I I actually got these last year, not this October, but October of 2018. And I put them in the freezer. And we're now in 2017, two years later, because in the next week is October. Um, and they're still good. So anyway, let's get at it. Wash them. Don't wash them if you're putting them in the freezer. Just put them in, um, you know, how you pick them. Try and get out the stems if you're able. As much as possible. But they're very annoying. So, um, I think. But you see, what happens is I use the byproduct. After i am finished with it and I'm making it, I, I try to make other things out of it. So try and get out the stems as much as possible, all the impurities. And this is why I could never think because I'm impatient. So just get it in there. And this is my one, I don't know, my little crock pot. Ugh. I wonder if I should do it in this crock pot. Um, you know, man, kind of worried now because I've never used this crock pot. But anyway, let's try it because it's so nice and handy and it's able to travel with me, you know, when I travel a lot. So, okay. So to this, I'm going to add, you have to find oils that are what they call small molecules so basically the, the science behind it is if the molecules of the oils are too large forget brand name forget brand name forget brand name okay just listen to the sound of my voice i will tell you what i use and what worked for me okay um so the idea is you want oils with small molecules so that they can transport the oil from the rose hip um, into your skin. So one of the favorite oils by people is sweet almond or almond oil. So um, I I just kind of blend four oils. I do whatever. I do whatever I have. Okay, so I use whatever I have. I I um. I'm trying to use up everything, so don't go and buy anything. I know coconut oil is a little, you can research it. You can research it. I don't like coconut oil for my skin particularly. Um, but think, this is Jehovah because they say, you know, it's supposed to be good. So basically, I'm just putting in the oils that, that are going to pull out the, the, the oil within the rose hip. No science says for me. This one is black Jamaican castor oil or castor oil. Um, I don't know how big or, or the molecule is or how small, but I have it. No, what is this? Oh no. <laughs> that is that is um cider. It can hurt. Apple cider. It can't hurt. It can't hurt. But this one I've used before. This is grapeseed oil. Okay. In fact, grapeseed oil is what I used the last time. And it worked really fine. Really good. So you want to kind of get it. Uh, you see it coming up to the top. Now it's going to boil. So you don't want to be two 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 to the top did i say enough two there two okay you see what i'm doing just you need some space for your um you want all your your little seeds in your oil 
to push them down, play with them, talk to them. All right. Um, so without the apple cider vinegar, all right. Now, I don't waste nothing. So let me show you what I'll do with this. Okay. <laughs> I can't reach down. Uh, don't waste nothing. Don't waste frugal mogul tip. Put it on your nails. Putting oil on your nails are great, but it wouldn't make your nail grow unless you push back your cuticles, whether with your fingernail or with some other thing. You have to put the oil and push back the cuticles. Okay, so just let me get that in there. All right, this is the cover. And see, I'm kind of worried about this, you know, because I have to leave it on for 24 hours, but we will try. And then you go and you plug it in. Simple. Okay. And you leave this for 24 hours. You ch check it occasionally. Um, I have to research whether or not you should check crop pots, um, slow cookers. Because if I figure out if you open them, you let out all the air from them. Not the air, the heat. And then it takes a while to build back up. Okay, what is this? this, this these are all... Okay, so that's it ready. I done. Um, all right, so check in on me on a later video and I'll show you what I do, you know, once it's finished. But it's 24 hours, so if I check it after 24 hours and I look like I could go a little longer or I need to top up on the oil, I'll, I'll probably, I only have um, grape seed and Jehovah remaining. So I'll leave this close by. I finished my almond, so I could throw this away. This is one less thing cluttering up my house. And this was almost close to finishing. I like the black bottle and the dark brown. So I've, I'll drink this, pull out the label, wash the black bottle, and keep it. Anything that's glass, keep, and especially anything that's dark colored. Because the oil from here that I gather, I have this, I could put it in this because... Rosehip oil needs a dark bottle to, to, to last long. Okay, so Purgan Mughal tip number two or three or whatever. Love you guys. This is one of my favorite things to make, to use on my face. It has vitamin A and it has really, really helped my face. Check out my other videos and you'll see. You'll see me where I'm telling you I'm using my own homemade vitamin A rosehip oil in my, in, in my face treatment. This is how I get this, okay? I will try and show you how I harvest it um, coming in the next week or two. Take care, bye. So look out for that. Subscribe so that you'll get those videos.